G'day and welcome to a new photography video. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Tom and I have been a full-time professional photographer since 2004 and in the last few years, I have also been passing on my knowledge, skills and experience that I've gained through my online workshops. I would love you to subscribe and stay in touch if photography is your thing. Today, I'm talking about commitment. A commitment I made back in 2010 that drastically helped with my own photography skills and also helped with the contacts I made both professionally and personally, and I've been forever grateful ever since. It was actually by accident really that I set up a structure that kept me totally accountable to my craft. What I did was start a daily surf ocean photo blog, and the idea was to post up five to 10, 10 images a day of what I found along the coastline at dawn. I took surf action images, I took long exposure seascape images, I shot empty waves, I shot surf lifestyle, I shot surfer portraits. No matter what the conditions threw at me, I was up every morning finding images that reflected my mood, my state of mind, and also recorded what was happening along the beaches of the Coast Coast at that time. The accountability or discipline of shooting every day was not the initial intention at all. At the time, I found myself shooting a fair bit and I wasn't really sharing my images. So I hooked up with a local web designer who got me a blogging website and an online gallery, gallery happening. The website quickly got really popular around the Coffs Coast and all of a sudden, I grew a very large email list of people that were keen to see the images each morning. Having all those people's energy behind this little project kept me even more accountable to producing something every single day. Got to say, at times it was tough coming up with images on a flat day with sideways winds and rain. And there were days that I wasn't feeling great, days where I couldn't be bothered, but I'd made the commitment to shoot every day and so I went out there with camera in hand. Those challenging days were the ones that grew my skills the most, coming up with new concepts, different angles, different locations, and different stories to tell definitely exercised the creative muscles and taught me Photography problem solving, which is an art I'll be delving into in my online photography workshops in the future. What started as a personal project soon turned into a business with uh, lots of local businesses asking to be advertised on the website. I had normally had three or four businesses at any one time placing uh, their advertising space on the blog. The businesses were related, mostly surf shops, surf travel companies and brands. So when these guys came on board, I was even more accountable uh, to getting up every morning and producing worthwhile results. I ran this blog for five years up until the end of 2015 and closed it down to travel with my photography full-time around Australia and New Zealand from 2015 to 2019. This blog introduced me to surfers that became great friends. It introduced me to business owners that then used my commercial photography uh, services. It also gave me a platform to sell my landscape prints and got me right into the community. None of this was really planned. What started as a personal project of sorts quickly turned into a business, but the greatest reward was noticed years down the track when I looked back at the daily surf photo blog commitment and saw how far I had come as a confident photographer, a photographer that could make something semi-worthwhile of any wave or weather conditions. It kept me improving little by little every day. And you know what? If you don't hold yourself accountable to your passions and your dreams, in some way they can just quickly slip away from you. It's so easy to say the waves aren't good enough, the light won't be good today, there's no one decent surfing out there, the landscapes around here are boring, or I'll get the camera out when it gets good. What happens then is weeks, months pass you by and you realise you haven't Got your camera out once and guess what, you haven't grown. So the purpose of this video is to really highlight the power in getting out there every day or at least once a week and just showing up no matter what the conditions are like or if you feel like it. I guess it's like going running or going to the gym, you rarely feel like it at the time but when you do it you feel much better and you get results. There are people out there that say they've been photographers for three years but how many days in those three years did they actually shoot? If they only got the camera out once every two weeks, then really they only have the same experience of a photographer that got started three months ago and shot every day. The learnings are quite often in the doing, especially if that photographer is getting quality feedback and is conscious of the mistakes and wins that they are having with their journey. 
constantly getting out there and shooting each day or multiple times a week and assessing your results and learning from more experienced photographers will see you improve so much faster than the photographer that says they've been doing it for years but only shoots a few times a month. Now, getting that consistency often requires a commitment or some sort of accountability. This doesn't have to be an elaborate daily surf website like I had going. It can be just announcing to friends and family that you are gonna produce one surf action image or one landscape image that you are proud of each week and back this up week after week. That week after week pattern is the key. Not just when you feel like it, every week or better still, every day. With social media these days, you can announce your intention on Instagram. And even if you have just 10 followers, that's 10 people that are there to make sure you do it. The tension of letting 10 people down will hopefully be enough to get you out in nature, down the beach shooting. And when you arrive with camera in hand, you will just fall in love with the process. How many times have you not gone out of the house because you thought the conditions won't be good for photos? It's common amongst us. I know this because I've made the same excuses. I've missed out on so many shots because of excuses. Rarely have I ever regretted taking my camera out into nature and experiencing the natural world and capturing my version of those moments. So whether you are just starting your photography journey or you have been shooting for 50 years, I would suggest finding a way to keep your photography consistent, not just waiting for the conditions to be amazing. If you need accountability, then put your statement out into the world, hook up with other photographers online or in person and keep each other keen, keep each other shooting and just try and produce at least one meaningful image to you per week. Do this for a year and you'll have 52 killer portfolio images and you would have spent a ton of time in nature and that's where we all thrive, that's where we all heal and that's where we can be super creative. Shooting consistently might sound like a simple tip or concept, but I can guarantee you that more than 90% of us photographers are not doing this and less of us have an accountability structure in place to ensure that this consistency never wavers. So ask yourself now, do you have a system in place for consistency? If not, and you want to improve, then maybe it's time to have a think about it. Find a way to be consistent and your photography will 100% improve. Thanks for tuning in today, legends. And if you want to find out more about my online workshops, then go to this website or follow the links in the description.